hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host. I'm rolling solo dolo here on another Madden 19 deconstruction and relocation franchise. This time we're doing the Cowboys, folks. We're going to take them and move them somewhere. I haven't decided where yet. We're doing this one a little different. This one we're doing a fantasy draft to pick the roster that I'm going to deconstruct. I am going to use my first overall pick to pick a fullback because I need someone who can block for the run. And I don't want the team to be too good because here's all the players that are available for me to get because I'm probably going to trade most of them away regardless. But I'm going to go to a full ba fullback and I'm going to take uh, Patrick Ricard, who I'm actually probably going to change his name to Blocky McBlockface. And uh, he has the highest impact blocking in a high lead block. So I need somebody good that can block for my running back. So I'm going to take him first overall. Well, 14th overall or whatever. And uh, then I am going to go ahead and take a quick break. I'm going to go ahead and simulate this to the end of the draft. And then I will come back and set them up to relocate and break the roster down like I have on all the other relocations. So let me go ahead and advance this to the end of the draft and we will see who I get and I will be right back to get this deconstruction started. All right, everybody, we are back. The very first thing I'm going to do is go through and set this to relocate. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna relocate them we are confirming that. All right, that'll pop up later. Okay, so I haven't looked at the roster yet other than to change Blocky McBlockface's name. So I'm going to go through now, and uh, what I'm going to do is anyone on the roster that is 29 or older, I'm going to add to the trade block. And then I'm also going to see, uh, you know, maybe some salary things. I'll take a look at that. It's a little different because we use a, a uh, fantasy draft instead of just whatever contracts they had. Because before I would get rid of giant contracts. But when you do the fancy draft, everyone has a similar contract structure. So let's go and look and see who we got. So for quarterbacks, we got Josh Allen, Mason Rudolph, Christian Hackenberg. I'm going to cut him right now. I guess I'll do that when I get into uh, the season a little bit in the preseason here. So, ooh, we got Saquon Barkley. Look at that. All right. So Travis Cadet, I'm going to add him. To the uh, trade block. Ain't nobody going to trade for him anyways. Uh, go through fullbacks. Blocky McBlockface. Uh, wide receiver. Uh, T.Y. Hilton. T.Y. Hilton is 28. But I'm still going to add him to the trade block. Because I just don't want to have him on my team. Uh, Danny Amendola. I will add him to the trade block as well. So let's see here. Kevon Austin. Josh Bellin. Dude, are you, all you guys are not getting any sort of trades. No one's going to want you. All right, let's go to the tight end. Who's our tight end? Josh Hill, <laughs> Garrett Selleck. God, why do we have, like, the oldest, weirdest tight end guys? All right, cool. All right, well, I'd do the trade block, bro. All right, uh, left tackle. Let's see here. Oh, nice. We have a young tackle who's not all that great. Riley Reef. We're going to go and add him to the trade block. We'll see if anybody trades for any of these guys. No one probably needs anything. Uh, all right, so this guy, he's 28, center. Oh, we don't we don't have any centers. We didn't think it was important to draft those, I guess. Right guard. We have a Mike Person. Why do we not have a center? Holy shit. I'm gonna trade for a center. Uh right tackle. Alright, well this guy's young. Donald Penn. At least he's he's fresh. 35. He's still quick learner. Alright, Carlos Dunlap. See you later, friend. We're gonna add you to the trade block. Who's my backup? Ooh, Shilikwe Calhoun. He seems good. Uh, all right, M. Johnson. We're running a 3-4-D, uh, so we are going to um, try to stack up on linebackers. Defensive tackle. Got all young guys. All right, I'm cool with that. Left outside linebacker. Clay Matthews, you're young. Trade your ass away. All right, let's see who we can get for all these motherfuckers. Ooh, Miles Jack. That's a good pick, actually. Ray Ray Armstrong. Yeah, you're really good, friend. Right outside linebacker. Okay, Christian Kirksey. Oh, he uh, plays for the Browns. Look at that. All right. Ooh, we don't have any cornerbacks over 30. Look at that. So there's not really a lot of guys to trade away. Tremont Williams, you're young. 
So I'm glad they drafted a pretty young team overall. We're going to have a, a way better starting point than we normally do with these deconstructs. But, you know, that's kind of what happens. Ooh, Jason Sanders. He's a, he's a kicker. He's going to be my friend. And we, oh, we don't have a punter either. Great. Picks. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to free agents, I guess. And I'm going to sign a punter. Because you don't have a motherfucking punter. I don't know how we're going to punt the ball. Uh, all. And punt. Er. All right, who are we going to get? Uh, Matt Dar, welcome aboard, friend. Let's we'll take you for the one season, because after this, I can do whatever I need to do. But I need a fucking punter. Uh, also, also need a center. So that's pretty good, you know, at least one, one center. Uh, all right, you are uh, seventy overall and twenty-six. That'll at least get me a center on my roster. Okay. So let's go ahead and at least do that. Let's go ahead and go to the next week and see if anybody wants any of these people on my team. All right. Anybody want to trade? Oh, look at that. Oh, God. All sorts of trade offers. All right. Good deal. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to go ahead and trade all these motherfuckers away for the best thing I can trade. What do we got here? What do you guys want to give me? Um, a, ooh, a first round pick for the Steelers. Uh, ooh, the Patriots, 157. All right, we are going to take the, because you got to think, 2020 picks are neck the year after next. So if one of these is 2019, I'm going to take this 2020 and a sixth. That's 2020 and a fit. All right, I guess I'll take this one. And plus, I'd rather make New England better than Pittsburgh ever. So there we go. Bye, T.Y. Hilton. It was so good to have you around for a minute. Who's this guy? This guy's only 72 overall. What do you guys? Um, I will absolutely take a a third round pick. For this old dude. Pfft. Riley Reeves, see you later, friend. Alright. Who else do you want to trade? Let's get going. Pearson? You're 30 years old. You're 76 overall. What are you trying to get me for him? Ooh, second round this year. Second round next year. And I think I'm going to take the second round this year. Because I need to get better. Sooner. Alright, there we go. Let's do that. What do we got down here? Ooh, the right tackle. Who He's 35 years old. What are they going to give me for him? You guys really want to give up a third-round pick, huh? I will absolutely take your third-round pick, friend. That's cool. That'll help me get better. All right. What do we got here? Um, Sam. Ooh, Cliff. Clay Matthews. What do you want for him? What are you giving me for him? Third, third, second. Oh, you give me a second this year. Second. That's all next year. This is a second this year. Second, a fifth. All right, Pittsburgh. I'll give them to you. Fine. Better be shitty. I swear. All right, let's see here. Who else we got? Oh, and Carlos Dunlap. So let's go and review that. See what we'll get for him. A second, a second. Second next year. All right, cool. We'll take the, uh, we'll, we'll take the second and the fifth. All right, cool. That's pretty sweet. All right, so we got all those guys. I'm going to need to fill the roster here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and advance the week again, see if anybody else pops up on the people I need to do. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my roster so the computer doesn't do it automatically, and I will be right ba back the next time I have any trade offers. All right, everybody. I uh, came back. I do have a trade offer for Danny Amendola. So I'm going to go ahead and take whatever the hell they'll give me for him. Uh, next year picks, huh? I'm giving up third round picks for him. Holy shit. I will take any third round pick y'all want to give me. We'll take this one. Next year, third round. Thanks, friends. So, all right. So we traded that. Let's go ahead and advance the week. To the next week, see if there's any other trade offers. Because then what I'm going to go through, nothing else with that. Alright, 
let's see here, get to the last week of free agency here, not free agent, last week of uh, the preseason. Then I need to uh, fill the roster with any sort of free agents. So let's go to the last week. Do I need to cut anybody? I do not. So, all right, what I am going to do... Oh, actually, I'm at week one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill the roster, uh, trade away, see if I can trade any other guys, anything like that, and then I'm going to come back with the uh, final roster here for this first inaugural season. Uh, before we uh, take them to another city. All right, I will be right back. Okay, everybody, I am back. Uh, got a, got all the rest of the old guys cut off the team. I filled up the roster with whatever free agents were available, which was slim fucking pickings on a fantasy draft. So basically, here's the here's the team we're gonna roll into. It's actually not that bad of a team. There's a lot of young players. So we got Josh Allen. It's gonna be the starting quarterback. Saquon Barkley and uh, Kalen Balaj, fullback, Blocky McBlockface, Our wide receivers. We're gonna have Kenny Galladay, then we're gonna have Damian Ratley, Richie James Jr., and Ricardo Lewis. So definitely, it could go anyway. Uh, tight end, we're gonna take Jordan Thomas, and then we have uh, Matt Lacoste. Uh, put Josh Hill way down here. He's old. I don't care. Uh, our offensive line is pretty terrible. Uh, Seventy-three overall. 75 overall. I'm going to let them put them wherever they go. Uh, Bodine, 70 overall. Right guard, 70 overall, which is my backup left guard. Right tackle, 82. So at least I have one decent player over there. Left end, running uh, 72 overall. Right end is uh, Kokomo Torre. He's not bad. He's a rookie. Uh, got some decent defensive linemen. That's not bad. Left side, side linebacker. So rookie. Uh, the middle linebacker, we got Miles Jack, who's really good. And then our second linebacker and all of our other linebackers are trash. So we're going to do that. I actually may get rid of these guys since they're old and just pick up another rookie because somebody may may uh, do well. We got Christian Kirksey, 77. The cornerbacks are decent. They're all good, a good aged. Uh, 83 overall free safety. Strong safety is 82 overall. So our secondary is pretty good. 76 overall kicker, punter is 74, and then we'll show our kick returners, and oh, Richie James Jr., and Richie James Jr., so, and then let me go through, I'll show you guys all the uh, draft picks I have here coming up at the end of the year, that I traded for now, so, we have, um, picks. Nope, not punter, picks. All right, so we got one first, one, two, three, four twos, one, two, three threes, and four, five, 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 six, seven. So so we got quite a few picks. Um, I may trade some of them away, but, you know, I need to make the team better in the offseason for wherever we are going to relocate. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start simulating through the season. Um, and then once it pops up to let me pick my team and all that sort of stuff, I will be back so we can see where the hell we're moving the Cowboys to. We will be right back all right everybody the time has now come to pick where we are going to take the cowboys so we'll view the available cities uh once again i'll scroll through them real quick in case you've never seen these it's london mexico city toronto san antonio orlando salt lake city brooklyn memphis chicago sacramento Columbus, Ohio, Portland, Austin, Dublin, Houston, Oklahoma City, St. Louis, San Diego, Las Vegas, and then back to London. I'm actually thinking I'm going to move the Dallas Cowboys to Toronto. So we're going to move America's team to Canada. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Boom. All right, so let's go ahead and advance to next week. And then we'll go and pick our team name. All right, so are we going to be the Toronto Cowboys? No. The Huskies, <laughs> the Mounties, or the Thunderbirds? 
you know we have to be the fucking Toronto Mounties with the fucking Mountie and the little horse. Oh, I'm going to love it. Mounties it is. Let's go ahead and advance to next week. And we are going to pick the uniforms. So let's see what we want to do here. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at those pants. Which one do the people want most? They want the middle ones the most. Blue helmet, blue jersey, red pants. Red helmet, red jersey. Stripes. I kind of like these the best, too. I think these will be the be red and navy blue with the, uh, with the thing. Uh, Mount Up says, this was my second favorite of the bunch. Canada Carly says, love the red and yellow stripe. Toronto Rock says, I voted for this one. Love the logo. I love it too. There we go. All right. We will go ahead and advance to pick our stadium. All right. What kind of stadium are we going to do? We're going to do a deluxe stadium for sure. Um, we're playing in Canada. Do I want the dome? Do I want to make the Mounties play in a dome? Um... Yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's do the dome. Boom. We are going to begin construction. Blah, out. So, all right, guys. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and simulate through the rest of this season. And then I will be back here at the end of the season to kind of go over how the team did. Things like that. And uh, let us move on and do our uh, first off season. As we move into creating the Toronto Mounties and taking them to the promised land. So I will be right back at the end of the season to go over how everything went. All right, guys. Um, real quick, I fired the coach and the scout and all that. So I'm going to go in here and try to hire someone uh, for the team. So I'm going to go ahead and make offers here. Uh, coaches. We're going to go ahead and try to get... I want to run a multiple zone run and multiple three, four. That's actually about what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and decide <laughs> Edward Timberlake. I like it. All right. We'll do, we'll do three years of this guy. All right. Scouts. Of course, we have a bunch of teams all bidding. We want the guy who can scout everything well. Who doesn't want a quarterback overall scout, I guess? Um, yeah, we'll try to get this guy. We'll just give him more money than they're offering. So we'll see if we can steal him away. And trainers. Uh, this These guys are all world class, huh? World class, world class, world class. We'll try to get this guy. Ryan Glukowski. He looks like he's hurting inside. All right, so let's go ahead and try to sign those three guys. And... Let's go ahead and just go to the next uh, week and see if they sign or not. All right. And we hired trainer, scout, and coach. So that's who's, that is who is hired. So, all right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and just simulate here through the rest of the season. Uh, looks like the Super Bowl is the Jets and the Cardinals. What a Super Bowl, huh? So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and simulate through the Super Bowl. Um, and then kind of go go back through, show how the team did, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then we will uh, wrap this video up and start the Toronto Mounties franchise. So I'll be right back here in a second and review this season. All right, guys. Here we are at the end of the season. Look at that crisp red shirt and that Mountie on a horse on his collar. Looking nice, Mr. Timberlake, the coach of the Toronto Mounties. All right, guys, let's do a quick review here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go through the stats of the team. See how they did. Um, see. All right. Looks like, okay, looks like Josh Allen was hurt a little bit. Uh, he ended up with 2,918 touchdowns because this guy had some play time. Holy shit, he did terrible. All right, so rushing yards, Saquon Barkley. Um, looks like he may have been hurt too because Kalen had 91 attempts. So he still ended up with a thousand yards, six touchdowns. Did kind of terrible. All right. Receiving. Who did anything? Galladay had almost had 900. 
Damian Ratley, and Jordan Thomas. So, I don't know. They may be worth... Saquon Barkley caught some passes. So, it may be worth keeping a couple of these guys. Ratley didn't... Only had one touchdown all year. Let's see. Blocking. Eh, whatever. This line is terrible. All right. Defensive. So, Jack, Kirksey, and then my secondary. So, all the rest of my linebackers were absolute trash. Let's see. Oh, that guy had... 41, 31. These, that middle linebacker had 23 tackles as a starter. So that's pretty cool. Anybody, uh, oh, that was solo tackles, but regardless. Uh, how many sacks? Anybody have any good sack totals? Kokomo Ture. At least my line is getting sacks, I guess. So, I mean, that's decent interceptions. Anybody. Two. And it was the, uh, oh, there we go. All right. And look at kicking. How did you do, Jason? All right, you got 85%. How about your punts here, Matt Dar? Eh, so-so, average. Kick return, how you doing, James, here? So neither one of them really did shit. And punt returns. Uh, I mean, eight yards, I guess, is okay for punt returns. So, all right, so there is that. Let me go ahead and jump in and go to the schedule here. And, uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to do a year-end awards what the hell are those at oh they're in stats all right um i'm gonna go in here and look at the year end awards see if anybody on my team did anything yearly awards uh philip rivers was the mvp look at that all right cool uh coach of the year pete carroll 12 and 4 seahawks all right let's go we are nfc right yes so offensive player of the year nobody from the cowboys defense player of the year Nobody from the Cowboys. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Oh, shit. Saquon Barkley and Josh Allen both were on there for the Mounties. Let's see here. So that's good. I mean, they're my they're my guys. All right. Defensive Player Rookie of the Year. Oh, shit. We had Kokomo Ture and Trey Flowers. So look at that. All right. We can deal with that. I'll deal with all the rookies. I'm glad they gave me rookies. Uh, let's see. He wasn't on the best quarterback, best running back. Saquon Barkley was not listed on there. Best wide receiver? Nope. Nobody. Offensive line? Nope. Defensive line? Nope. Linebacker? No. Defensive backs? Maybe next time. Kicker? Oh, there we go. He's the fourth best kicker. So, all right. Nothing really to write home about. Let me go through the uh, standings, I guess. I don't, what did I finish? We finished... Four and twelve, huh? So we'll see who uh how everybody did here. So we'll go AFC North. So it was the Ravens and Steelers made the playoffs. Go figure. Uh the Colts made the playoffs. The Jets and Bills made the playoffs. How sad. Uh the Chiefs. That's the AFC. NFC is uh the Packers and the Lions. The Saints. The NFC East is the Giants. Uh, NFC West was the Seahawks and the Cardinals. So let's go ahead and jump to the schedule. We'll check out the playoffs. Who did what on this season? Not team schedule, league schedule. All right, we'll go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, there we go. Week 17, wild card. All right, so let's see. The Bills beat the Colts. The Giants beat the Lions. The Jets beat the Steelers. The Cardinals beat the Saints. And then we had the Chiefs beating the Bills. The Cardinals beating the Seahawks. The Jets beating the Ravens. And the Packers beating the Giants. So then it was the Jets over the Chiefs. And the Cardinals over the Packers. So the Jets and the Cardinals made the Super Bowl. And the winner, the Jets, won the motherfucking Super Bowl 31-24. to So, yay for them. Alright, one last thing I'm going to do here. Um, so I'm going to go through the team. You can see where the team was at the end of the season. Because uh, this roster is going to look a lot different come next year. So so we got uh, Josh Allen, who isn't really all that great. I mean, I may I may end up even drafting a quarterback, just depending. Uh, Saquon Barkley, 91. Probably keep him. Blocky McBlockface. Gotta love him. Uh, Galladay, Austin. God, my wide receivers are trash. Uh, tight end. They didn't get any better either. So, like, realistically, I'm just going to try to uh, draft and pick up a bunch of fucking people. Which, there probably won't be a ton of free agents because we did a uh, fantasy draft. But, 
I'm going to try to keep some of the guys that I did pick up because no one has really gotten any better. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be rough. Why do I have so many fucking right ends? Oh, practice squad. OK, that makes sense. Oh, this guy got better. Go you go guy that I don't care about. Linebacker, anybody, any of these middle linebackers get better? Nope, not really. They're all trash. Uh, Ross linebacker? Nope. Cornerback. Cornerback's got a little better, so that's good. My secondary is great. It's just not my secondary that I need to get better. So, all right. There's that. There's my punter. All right, let's see where my picks are. So, I have the, oh, I do have the first overall pick. Fuck yeah. That's good. All right, then I have the... Oh, I got some good picks. All right, cool. All right, I can definitely draft some mofos. Glad I got the... I have 4-12 and 12 at the number one pick. All right, good enough. All right, so here's all the players that are potentially 25 of my, whatever, 53 players are potentially leaving. Um, I'll probably re-sign a couple of them for depth. Um, but who... So it's like my punter, these wide receivers, the tight ends... The cent I mean, so there's some, I probably won't resign anyone who's in the 60s, but maybe some of these guys who are in the 70s, I will try to resign just for, just so I have some depth because I don't know what to expect on, uh, on the, uh, free agent block here. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, but that is all the time that we have for today's episode of the deconstruction of the Dallas Cowboys and the relocation to Toronto. Um, stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be the first off season um, rebuilding the Toronto Mounties. And then uh, we will do a season. Uh, me and uh, my partner here, TNT Dynamite, my co-host will uh, play through a season with these Toronto Mounties, whoever is on the team. So be looking out for that. And uh, all right for Jonas. Leave, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, please subscribe. Comments. Tell me what you think about these. Think about what teams you want me to see me deconstruct. Where you want me to take a team to. Um, but for Jonas, I'll catch you guys next week on the off-season video. I am.